guys. Welcome to a new acoustic guitar lesson. Today we're going to look at Photograph by Nickelback. Um, nice song this, it's got nice open chord voicings, uh, nice strumming pattern uh, and quite a simple structure as well. So uh, a good one to get going on. Right, uh, I'm going to start with the strumming pattern. Um, basically we have a 16th note or semi-quaver rhythm. And that basically means that we're splitting the beat into fours. And the way we normally count out that sort of rhythm is to say the beat number plus E and A. So if I count you through an entire bar, you would get one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, like that. And the strumming pattern would just be down, up, down, up on each beat. So you get this one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, like that. So that's the basic motion and counting that we're going to be doing for the song. Um, the strumming pattern though, we're not hitting every, every stroke on the chord. Um, so I'm going to break that down um, a beat at a time and then we'll piece it together. So on beat one, you're gonna hit on the first stroke and the last. So it's going to be one, E, and da. So that results in a down stroke and then an up stroke. One, E, and da, like that. Beat two, you're going to miss on the down, hit up, so you're hitting actually on beat two the second and third um, strums. So you get two E and da like that. I'll do that again. Two E and da like that. Okay. Beat three is um, it's going to be on the second and fourth parts of the beat. So they're going to be both up strums. So it's going to go three E and da, like that. One more time. Three, E, and da. And then on beat four, you're playing all of them. Four, E, and da. I'll put the whole thing together really slowly. So we got one, E, and da. Two, Okay, so that's the basic rhythm. And you'd probably want to spend a, a fair bit of time just doing that on one chord before trying to do it with the changes. If I um, express it just as a strumming pattern, that would be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. That might help. Some people find that maybe a little bit simpler to, to, get, to grasp. Okay, all right, so that's the rhythm. The chord shapes, the first one is an open E5 shape. Um, you're playing all six strings. Actually, for all the chords, you're gonna play all six strings. Um, so the first chord is E5. You're holding down the seventh fret on the A and on the ninth fret on the D and G strings. And you play all six lovely big wide sound so that's the first chord and then we move to a B add 11 um, so this shape is 7th fret on the E 9th fret on the A and D strings and 8th uh, fret on the G and again you play all six strings really nice chord this particular shape we're going to use for most of the other chords so that's the B B add 11. The next one's going to be a type of D chord. We're going to move the whole shape up to the 10th fret. So frets are 10 on the E, 12 on the A and D, and 11 on the G. All six strings. You get what's that? Uh, it's a D6 add 9. 
uh, but you can think of it simply as a D chord for now. It's much easier to deal with. Okay, so that's our third chord. And then our fourth chord, we're gonna move that same shape down to the fifth fret. So now we've got frets five on the E, seven on the A and D, and six on the G. You get an A add nine. So you get E, B, D, A. And uh, you just play each one with that strumming pattern. So I'll do it at a moderate speed. bar sequence we're going to use an awful lot in this song um, incidentally uh, when you're going between the chord changes one thing that you might find helps makes it a little bit easier to move between them is to leave a little bit earlier and that will result in the last up strum tending to be open strings um, don't worry about it it's so brief in time that you're not really going to hear hear it that much and what it does it just makes it a little bit easier to move between chords and results in a, like a smoother chord change as well, I think. Okay, I'm pretty sure they did this on the record. Right, that four bar sequence gets played four times for verse one. And then we get this little two bar sequence where we're going to play a, a G6, which is that same shape that we've been looking at. This is on frets um, three on the E, five on the A and D, and four on the G. <laughs> Same strumming pattern, one bar of that, and then we move it back up to the A shape. So. Like that. Okay. Um, the chorus uses our four bar sequence that we looked earlier. So that's D, E, B, D, and A. And it just plays through that sequence twice. And then it does the G to A again for a bar each. Okay, verse two plays our four bar sequence three times this this time round, and then the G6 to A for a bar each. The second chorus, the second chorus does our four bar sequence twice like it did previously. And then on the end of it, we're going to play one bar of a C major 7. It's, again, it's that familiar shape for us at the 8th fret this time. So we're holding down 8 on the E, 10 on the A and D, and th um, 9th fret on the G. I'm going to do a bar of that, and then a bar at the, um, the D position. So you get... And that brings us into our middle section of the song. Um, and the sequence there is going to be E, B, G, and the A. And it plays through it twice. bit you hear like a little arpeggiated uh, sequence um, live they just strum it they just go so you can do you can just do that that's what they do live um, but I'll show you this this little picking sequence. Um, holding down the E5 chord, we're picking the strings A, D, G, open E, first string E, back to G, back to D, 
Then you bring your finger over and play seven on the B. Like that. And then um, the next one is a B sus four, so it's a slightly different shape. You're holding down seven on the E and then nine on the A, D and G. And you do a little strum on the top part of the chord and then you pick D, G, first string E, G, D, bring the finger over and play the seventh fret on the B again. So you get. And then we move up to our D chord, give it a single strum, last for four beats, and then it goes into the final chorus. Final chorus gets played three times, that four bar sequence that we know, but on the third time round, once it gets to the A chord, it just does a single strum and lets it ring, and that's the end of the song. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is that they're tuned down a half step so um, if you plan on playing along with a record either tune your guitar down or if you've got a bit of software where you can tune the um, the recording up um, I use transcribe which is a really good one for that it saves me retuning my guitar I'll give you the tune in anyway just in case you don't know what that is basically everything's just going one fret lower so your E will become E flat a becomes A flat, D's D flat, G's G flat, B's B flat, and E's is E flat. So if you've got a chromatic tuner, that's quite an easy thing to do. The other way that you could do it is to um, start by tuning down your sixth string. Uh, the way I would do it is probably take it down a little bit first, and then hold it at the sixth fret and compare it to the A string. Okay, uh, and then use your normal five fret method for tuning. Fourth fret once you get to the G string, of course, and then back up to and tuning it down like that, and then that would put your guitar in in E flat, but standard tuning, but just one step down. Um, I hope that helps you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.